Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Concerning Jesus Christ, because at this time when Rome ruled, we were not ignorant on who Christ was, the purpose, so on and so forth. We understood who we were, and we understand we were all waiting for Messiah. But today, we're completely destroyed. 400 years of not being able to read and brainwash, and we're gone. So read it again. Concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Concerning who? His son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let's read what was revealed concerning Jesus Christ, our Lord. Which was made of the seed of David. Whoa, wait right. a minute. Made of what? Which was made of the seed of David. That's Meaning right. through sex that we just read in, in Matthew 1. From, right. from, from Abraham all the way down. That's right. List all his forefathers, right? But I'm saying, hold on. Wait, there's more, there's more. According to the flesh. According to what? To the flesh. Meaning sex. That's right. Go all the way back. Read it again. Concerning his son. Jesus Christ our Lord, uh -huh. which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. Like Matthew 1 said, hold on, I'm, 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 just, I'm just rehashing so you can understand. So, Paul revealed uh, concerning Jesus Christ, who was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, meaning sex. Now, go ahead. First of all, we know that David was king, right? You got a Bible with you, by the way? Okay, go ahead. We you know that David was a king, right? Yeah. So we know that the king that he was called Thomas, the lineage of the kingship. That's not what it said. Was Abraham a king? Oh, no, was Abraham, Isaac a king? Well, Hold up. Well, listen to what you just said. You you say no and go into kingship. So my rebuttal to you, all the names that they reference, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Judah, all the way down. Were they kings? No, that's the, the lineage. Hold that's up. The lineage. So Joseph, the, the husband of Mary, was a king? No, no. Joseph, Joseph was from that lineage, from that tribe, from the tribe of Here's David. Here's my point. You're highlighting the kingship. That's but right, God declared, hold up. God declared who the kings was in the record. All the kings. My point is, you bypass Christ by the seed according to the flesh. You bypass all that, and you say, no, I'm focused on the title of king. No, 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 he's right. He, the, Jesus Christ is the seed of David according to the flesh. The sex, meaning sex. The no, seed. No, it no, mentions no. seed. Read it again. No. Look, listen, what is seed? What is seed? I mean, seed is, is the seed in you. What, what seed? You know, I'm asking you because we're gonna go to we're gonna read what the Bible said. Okay, so if you understand seed is sperm, how are you confused that Christ is a descendant by the, according to the flesh of seed? Bring it up. So Christ, so Christ, hold up. Is Christ the son of Joseph by, 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 by birth, by blood? Yes, by sex. That's what the Bible just said. Okay, give me Hebrews two sixteen. Hold up. I'm gonna give you another one. Listen to this very carefully. So so far I gave you the genealogy of Christ. Then I gave you a Paul. Now check out what Paul said in Hebrews. Check this out. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 16 For verily he took not on him the nature of angels So Christ did not take on him the nature of angels What does that mean? He came as a man, he didn't take on the nature of angels He came what? He came as a man, he manifested himself You got something, Ken? Mary the Virgin From the Zondervan Compact Bible Dictionary I read Distinctive Roman Catholic Doctrines about Mary 
immaculate conception. You hear this? This is a doctrine of what? The Catholicism religion. Hold on, we're gonna get back to it. I'm just bringing it up for you. So again, all the denominations, Christianity and all that derived from Catholicism, right? Read it again for the brother. Mary the Virgin, distinctive Roman Catholic doctrine. It's a doctrine by the Roman Catholics, read. About Mary, immaculate conception, 1854. An assumption of Mary, 8, 1950. So, it, it even had the time it, when it came, when that doctor was pushed. Look at, that's recent. That's recent. And that's recent. No, but did you hear what that just said, though? Yeah. All right. Yeah, good. Okay. Now, we know that Joseph, we know that, we know that Joseph, right, didn't have sex with Mary because it says Mary was a virgin. That's not what the Bible said. It says the virgin, Mary was a virgin. Man, hold up. Brother, I, I'll let you talk. No, no, I, I'm talk. hearing you out because you're saying a lot. Here's my point. There's different meanings for the word virgin. Right. The one the Bible says it means a young woman of marriageable age, That's not right. the literal that she didn't have can, sex. Can a virgin have a baby today? Yes. Yeah, can a virgin have a baby? Yes, today? a young woman of marriageable age. Yes, she can have a baby. No, That's what I'm the Bible's talking about, virgin. I mean, a hymen has been broken. No. She can't have a baby, right? No, she can't. Uh, let me ask you the question. Hold up. Let's say this man. Hold up. This, this man, this woman want to have a baby, right? I go get a virgin and, and insert a seed into it. Can't she have a baby? Bring a baby if you if you insert by sperm. Yes. Yeah, you, if you insert sperm, yeah, you can. But yeah, she's a virgin. Yeah. She never had sex before. But if you insert sperm into her, brother, that's that's seed going in there. No, 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 no. I didn't know. You put this no. The man's seed and the man's egg, you insert into the woman. Now, she, uh, hammer was never broken. She never had sex. Brother. But yeah, she's pregnant. We're we going to read the word of God again. Let me read Hebrews 2 to you again in its entirety, all right? Because you're going all over the place. Read this again. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 16. For verily he took not on him the nature right. of angels. Right. Meaning, Christ didn't just appear in the womb of Mary. Right. Right. Men came on earth through sex. Right. Wisdom and Solomon, we're gonna bring that up next. Read. But he up. took on him the seed of Abraham. He took on him what? The seed of Abraham. Christ took on him the sperm of Abraham. Right. Generation upon generation over okay. to Joseph his father. Go That's what it's saying, brother. Listen, notice. The word of God is coming out, bro. You gotta listen. But here's what on. Before we do that, I'm gonna address this part right here. Finish Hebrews 2, 2 and 16, and then we're gonna go to your scripture, right? Read this. This is the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary. Because again, the prophet Hosea said, our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Right, we are right. ignorant people, bro. And we like to fight without the understanding. So let's go into the English word of virgin. Let's see the definition of the word virgin, because we lack understanding of definitions. So we're confused. Read. Virgin, a young, unmarried woman. Wait a minute. Read it again. Virgin, a young, unmarried woman. Bring it so on. when the Bible right. talks about Virgin Mary, it simply meant she was a young woman that was eligible for marriage. Right. Not that she didn't have sex. Because Joseph had sex well before marriage. Right. That's all that happened. That was it. That was Read it again. That's Virgin, a young, unmarried woman. Genesis 24, verse 16. So Jesus wait, 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 brother, brother, brother. He Did you understand? That's what the Bible said. We're gonna read it next. But listen, listen. We right now we ex we establishing definition. Do you understand that there's more than one definition for the word virgin? Yes or no? You have no doctrine if you deny Jesus deity. Uh, we're not denying Jesus, my brother. He said Jesus is a man. Listen again. We're establishing because your confusion is you don't understand the definition of virgin. No, you, you think it's just because you don't have sex. No, you, so you let's read it again. Jesus is a man. Virgin, the man. You have a young you have unmarried nothing. woman. You have no doctrine. It is. You have no doctrine. You say we call him Jesus a man? That's right. So what was he? You know, you call him just a man. Just this guy. He's, God. He's a man. He's he came out to man. God. John chapter 14, God verse 9. You said, if you said Joseph is father, you this. just call him a man. Calm down, brother. Listen, watch this. <laughs> We're going to let the scriptures read. So far, the brother been bringing out scripture behind scripture behind scripture. You have no Bible in your hand. Your Bible's there? So what verse are you proving your point? What you go to Romans 9? Don't go to Romans 9, but watch this. Read this. John chapter 14, verse 9. Jesus saith unto him. Jesus, read verse 8 first. John chapter 14, verse 8. Philip saith unto him. So Philip, talking to John, right? I mean, talking to Christ. Read. Lord, show us the Father. And it suffices us. He said, show us the yeah. Father, yeah. right? The Father, yeah. God. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it's enough for us. Read. Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long with you? Have I been so long with you? Right. And yet hast thou not known me? Right. Hast thou not known me? Right. Read. Philip, 
Ye that have seen me have seen the Father. He that have seen me have seen the Father. Where's the one where it says, I am the Father on one. There you go. Watch this. So Christ looks just like God. That's what he's basically so telling you. No, no. Christ looks just like God. He said he looks like the Father. He that have seen me have seen the Father. Watch this. Read. John chapter 1 verse 45. Philip findeth Nathaniel and saith unto him, We have found him, of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write. Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. The son of who? Of Joseph. Of who? Of Joseph. The son of Joseph. Why? Because he came from the seed of Joseph. He did not adopt him. He did not adopt him. Give me wisdom of Solomon chapter 7. This brother does not understand scripture. You've been indoctrinated with that immaculate conception doctrine yes, right. that we already have read to you, you it's a Roman Catholic doctrine. Yes, right. Read. If you don't have that, you don't have Wisdom nothing. of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 5. But there is no king. What does the Bible say? But there is no king. Who is Christ? King of kings. That's yes, right. right. King of right. kings. Right. Read. But there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. No king that had any other beginning of birth. Read. For all men. All who? For all men. All men, including Christ, read. Have one entrance into life. Have what? One entrance into life. Have one entrance into life. Meaning a man and a woman having sex. That's right. The man impregnating the woman and the child being conceived. That's right. You understand, brother? Stop believing fairy tales. That's what you're doing, brother. You believe in fairy tales. We believe in the word of God. The word of God. How does one get salvation? That's another question. Go ahead, brother. Before we get that, we're gonna just finish off Hebrews 2 and 16 because it's gonna explain why Christ had to become had to come through sex and be a man. Listen to listen to the seed of God. Remember, he's not, he's believe in the scriptures Joseph. as the Bible says, right, right Maurice? Not, not, so let the Bible explain why Christ had to come as a man. The Bible is gonna explain, Maurice. Listen. My brother, listen. Read. You got, you got Hebrews chapter 2, verse 16. For God. verily he took not on him the nature of angels. What, what, what did Paul just say? That's right. What did the Okay. Okay, read on. But he took on him the seed of Abraham. What did he instead do? He took on him the seed of Abraham. Well, what does that mean? What does that mean? So that was the promise. That, that didn't say promise. Hold, there, hold up, you, you know, hold up, hold up. You know the seed of man is corrupted, brother, right? Brother, hold up. Can I say something? Can we stay on the topic yes. first? We are, we are, we are We're the addressing topic. your first question first. One you know, second, you know bro. Now, right? no, this is what I want our people. It's impossible for us to learn when we don't shut up and listen. Right, God right. has the answers. We're reading this to you and you're not listening. Right. That's why you can't comprehend. Right. So listen, brother. Right. Read it. So Hebrews chapter 2 verse 16 is addressing Christ's birth. Right. And is explaining why he could not be made of an angel and why it came of a man through sex. Okay, read it slow. So he, he didn't take on the nature of angel, meaning just created. But he had to take on the seed, meaning the generation, like Matthew wanted to discuss all with Joseph, promise, his father. Read. Promise, promise. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Wherefore, in all things it both. This is the why. Why did he take on the seed of man? Read. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. Right. He had to be made like all of his brothers you from the nation of Israel. Right. All the other prophets. Why? Bring it Let out. the Bible explain why Christ had to become as a man on earth through sex. Bring He's going to explain why. Read. That he might be a merciful and faithful right. high That's priest. Right. Right. How will Christ be merciful and faithful? Read. In things pertaining to God to make Reconciliation That's for right. the sins right. of the right. people. Okay. So Christ, hold up. 
Christ had to come in the flesh as a man so he can suffer temptation. Right. He can That's see, right. he can be the best example That's to see right. yes. why yes. it was so hard. Father, it was hard. Yes. He had to be made as a man yes. to come and see what we deal with, brother. Yes. Because if he came as an angel, he would not be tempted with nothing. Right. So therefore, he couldn't be a righteous That's judge. Right. You, know? you understand? Right. Right. So that's why he had to come through sex like all of his brethren. Read that word again. Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his brethren. That's why he had to come okay, like okay, everybody okay, else, okay, like okay, the captain okay, brought. Okay. There's no king can that's born any other way through, through, through sex. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, but can I say something? Yeah. Okay, you know why he came as us? Because first of all, we are we are human, right? And we are, hold up. Is that what the Bible said? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Did you hear what the Bible said, though? Brother, can I speak? This is your thoughts. You heard what the Bible just said, right? Can I speak? I'm trying to show you something. You heard yes, what the Bible yes, just yes. said. Okay, good. Now, Give me a point. He didn't come as angels. Why? Because we're not angels, right? He came as human because we, we are on his sin. And he had to come as our nature so he could free us from our sin. So he had to take, hold up. So he had to take on our nature so he could free us from what's our nature? Sinful nature. Sin. What else? What's 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 human nature? Say? Human flesh, brother. Flesh. Human, human, human. Exactly. Human. So what so was that page? So so hold Christ hold was brother, not. Let me, I, let you speak, right? You're saying, bro, you're, you're, I'm listening to you for clarification of what you're saying. I want everybody to understand. Okay. So when you said Christ took on our nature, he came as a human being, flesh, That's right. right? That's right. Just like anybody else, right? Through sex, right? No, he didn't come through so sex. what what other man comes from just to show spontaneously? God. There you go. Is that what the Bible just said, though? Again, let me speak. Now, Jesus, hold up. Jesus didn't, Jesus didn't come as an angel because obviously we're not angels. So, he so how come. did he came then? He came as flesh. As, as our flesh, nature. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Why? Because we were under the bondage of sin. Hold up. So he had to come in our nature. Hold up. So he could set us free from the bondage of sin. That's the, hold up. The only reason why Jesus came is to set us free from the bondage of sin. That's the only reason why he came. To reconcile, to reconcile us back to God. Because hold up. When Adam sinned in the garden, we were separated from God. Hold up. Let me talk. And when Jesus Christ came, he came to reconcile us back to God, right? Uh-huh, because so of sin, okay. So that was the only reason why Jesus came, was to reconcile us back to God. Because, hold up, because we as children are under the bondage of Satan. Hold up, hold up, I'll let you We talk. agree with all this. Hold up. We agree with all that, the but, bondage but of bro, sin. the point you're missing is how he came to be right, his birth. That's, right, that's right. what we're addressing here, and you're dancing around there. Right. You understood his purpose, but you're missing how he got here, and the Bible but said how he, he got here. He said he's been in the Bible, right? Right, right. he said he's been in the Bible, you don't believe he's a virgin. It says the virgin Mary. Hold up. Do you believe the Bible? Clearly, we're reading it to you. Uh, okay. You don't okay. believe in the okay. Bible. Hold on, hold on. The Bible hold on, said Christ hold on, hold on. came hold from okay. sex. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you a question. The, the, Bible, diction the, Bible? the Bible dictionary, right? Yeah. Where, no. Okay. Okay. Where did it say that doctrine came from? Okay, let me ask you one question. Where did it say the doctrine came you believe from? In the Bible. You believe in the Bible? Of course, we're reading okay. it. Did, did the Bible say Jesus was born of a virgin Mary? He was born. Hold virgin up, hold up, means hold up. young hold woman. Up. Did it say it was born of a virgin Mary? Virgin means young woman. Did it say it was born of a virgin Mary? Virgin means young woman. Virgin means young woman. It's not what you say, it's what the what Bible, Bible says. says. That's right. Exactly. Okay. So, so, so take, heed the, the so word, take heed to the word, brother. Take heed to the word. He was born of a man and a woman. Was he he a was born of a man and a woman. Was he, right. born of a he was born of a man and a woman. How much clearer okay. do you? Was he born of a virgin? Brother. I'm going by what the Bible says. Bring the scripture. Child. Child. If you don't read, ignore him. Was he born of a virgin? So we can read Hebrews was 2, he 16. So for what everybody else that's listening also. If you, if you We're going into how the birth of Jesus Christ. Read it. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 16. For uh, verily he took not on no him sense. the nature that of angels. No so Paul said, Christ that was not made like that angels. No angels were just created. That's right. So they don't they, they can't be tempted. John that's chapter that. 7 verse 38. What, what's he born of a virgin? What you go to Romans 9? Oh, go to Romans 9. 16. Go to Romans 9. Watch this. What you go to Romans 9? Bro, this is this is our platform. You understand? I mean, we don't. You don't dictate nothing here. You, you're here to be taught. You're here to be taught. You're not here to learn. You're not here to. You're not here to teach. It's not a doc. You you believe in the immaculate conception doctrine. You believe in the immaculate conception doctrine. That is a Roman Catholic doctrine that was brought about in the 1800s. That is a recent doctrine. Read this. Watch this. You didn't receive anything. Watch this. John. Chapter 7, verse 38. He that believeth on me, he that believeth on me, as what? As the scripture have said. As the scripture have said. Read. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So now let's see. 
Spirit. If you believe in Christ, that's let's see. Spirit. Let's what's see what the, the scripture says what's about the how Christ came. Hebrews two sixteen. Once water? again, Bring it out. once again, for the ignorant, for the unlearned, for those who refuse to listen. Wait. Read Hebrews chapter two verse sixteen. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. So he didn't take on him the nature of, of angels. Of Christ did not come. As, a, as an angel sure from did. heaven. No, he Read. He but he took on him the seed. The what? The seed. What is seed? The nature. Another word for seed is sperm. Wherefore, in all things, it behooved him to be made like unto his <laughs> brethren. It was necessary for him to be made like his brethren. How were his brethren made? How was his brothers made? By the seed, the sperm. All right, now let's get the let's get sperm for the brother. Seed in the Bible, sperm. Watch this. Read Leviticus chapter fifteen, verse sixteen. This is the this is God's word, not our words. Read. And if any man seed, any man's what? And if any man seed of copulation of what? Copulation. Seed, seed of copulation. What is copulation? I don't know what it means. You don't know what I mean. Let's get the definition. Let's get the definition. That's, that's good. At least you're honest. You don't know what it means. I follow Jesus. All praises. So you got you follow Jesus, you gotta follow his word. As it is written. Let's get the definition for the brother. Copulation. It says seed of copulation. You got it? Read. Copulation. Sexual intercourse. What? Sexual intercourse. What is copulation? Sexual intercourse. You see how easy it is when we understand words and the definition of words? Right. Seed means sexual intercourse. Copulation means sexual intercourse. So what happens when there's sexual intercourse? A seed is injected into the woman. And a child is conceived. Now let's go back to Hebrews chapter 2, 16. Bring it out. Hebrews chapter 2, 16. Read. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels. So we're clear he didn't come as an angel, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now now watch this. But he took on him the seed. The what? The seed. So what is seed? Copulation, okay. right? Okay. It comes from sexual intercourse. Yeah. So he took upon him the seed. Read. Of Abraham. Of who? Of Abraham. So that means he comes from the lineage. The lineage of Abraham. Right. All right. right the only way yeah. is the sperm. Right. The sperm. You understand? Okay, See through okay. sexual Let me intercourse. Let me ask the Ma immaculate conception is okay. a false. Is a false Let me Roman me doctrine. Me Do you understand that, brother? Let me ask the question. Do you understand that, brother? Let yes no, or no? I would not agree to that. So you agree with the Roman Catholic doctrine? I agree with the Bible. Okay. I agree with the Bible. The Bible doesn't talk about immaculate conception. Right. The God Bible does not talk about immaculate conception. Is Jesus begotten from God? He does his son. Right. That's his only begotten okay. son. If he's begotten from God, how is he Joseph's son? Because we just read it. But he's, been, but he's been he from just God. read it. He's, but, but listen, he still listen. comes from the lineage of but, Joseph. That's right. That, of course, because okay. he married okay. from that okay. lineage. So, he, he was adopted so by Joseph. Accept that, brother. Accept it. That's he, what it but is. But he's been from God. How can he have okay. two fathers? Okay. Oh, he had a, 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 a earthly father and a heavenly father. You understand that? So, but, but, but he's begotten from God. Yeah, bring what, it what, up, what does begotten mean? Look at Second the word begotten. Second Samuel, chapter seven, verse twelve. So yeah, two fathers. And when thy days be fulfilled. And thou shalt sleep with thy fathers. I will set up thy seed. Thy who? Thy seed. As thou born again, seed. Of course. After thee, we which shall proceed that, out of thy bowels. Out of what? Thy bowels. Bring it out! Thy bowels, thy body, thy sperm. Right. Thy sperm. Right. Understand, right. brother? Listen. Brother, you you've been you've Listen. been misled. We're not, we're not. You've been misled I'm by the Holy, the Holy Spirit. by the Roman Catholic the Church. You, you don't I'm have the Holy, the Holy Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is God's Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit it's according God. to the Scripture? That's Christ. When Christ died, in what the is the Holy Spirit according the to the Scripture? He's the Comforter. He's the Comforter. He's the Comforter. Let's get it because you don't know. He's the Comforter. Watch this. Watch this, brother. Pay attention. Pay attention. You say you have the Holy Spirit. Watch this. He's the Comforter. Acts chapter seven, verse fifty-one. 
Ye stiff neck. Ye stiff neck. You know what stiff neck means? That's right. Hard headed. Right. 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 And uncircumcised and, who, and heart and ears. And ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. Ye, brother, my brother. Paul. Relax. Paul. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost, right? Now let's see what the Holy Ghost is. As your fathers did, so do ye. The same way your fathers resisted the Holy Ghost, so do you. Okay. Read. Verse 53. Who have received the law. The what? The law. The law. Okay. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is the laws of God. Yes. Yes. The laws okay. of God. Do right. you understand that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you don't have the Holy Spirit. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You do not you have okay, the Holy you Spirit. The Holy you ask what it is. You do, I just I'm, read it for I'm you. Go I just read it for you. We don't Why need you bringing no scripture. We're bringing it out. Right. Why can't bring. I bring Who? You want to bring the scripture out? But the, the comfort corner, of, hold up, read, the comfort of which is the Holy Ghost. Who have received the law the by the disposition the of Holy Ghost, angels whom the and Father have not kept it. He shall teach you all things and bring all so things So this brother, reference. he refuses to hear the word. He this just wants to bring out scriptures. 40, but we don't need, give me, 20, give me Ecclesiastes chapter 5. You, you ask me who's the Holy Spirit. Know. I'm telling you the Holy Spirit. What the comfort brother, of the Holy Spirit is God's laws. God's laws. You understand, brother? You going to get the Bible now? Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 1. Keep thy foot. You, you know what the Bible says? Go to John 4 the You hear 26. what the Bible says? Put them, put them on the camera. You hear what the Bible says? Read it again. Keep thy foot. It says keep okay. thy foot. Right? Okay. Read. When thou goest to the house of God. Right. When thou goest to the house right. of God. This is the house of God. That's right. 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 God is coming out and you trying to talk over the men of the most high. The Holy Spirit right. is the law of God. out of order. The Holy Spirit that is the is, word of God. That is out of order, brother. You need to be quiet. Watch this. And be more ready to hear. Be more ready to what? To hear. No, run your mouth. To hear. You got to be more ready to hear. But hear. Me, we should, hear. I'm, I'm listening, brother. Okay, you need to hear the lesson and ask you questions. You need to teach me. That's right. Exactly. So if you have a question, a question, ask your question, okay, a question. and we're going to answer it. But you don't come here okay. running your mouth I apologize. trying to teach I the men of the most high. I apologize. You can't do I that. Okay, what's question your now. question? You asked me what the Holy Ghost before, right? Yeah, and we brought the scripture okay, out. Okay, go to John 4. No, you don't tell him what to bring out. We bring out okay. the scripture. So can I you understand? The story, no, because that's not a question. That's not a question. You ask what the Holy Ghost is, now we bring out the scripture. Right. You listen. And that's but it. Right. You understand but that? Go what, what, this, Bring, what, what the Bible yeah, says. You ask what the Holy Ghost is, right? Yes. yes. Uh, be quiet and listen. You understand? It says, be more ready to hear of course. than to give the sacrifice of fools. But why, but why would you right. let me you're speak? Giving, because you're, you're giving the so sacrifice you of a fool. So you can correct me. You're giving the sacrifice of a fool. If I'm wrong, correct me. You. If I'm wrong, correct me. Let me, let okay, me speak. Okay, you are wrong. wrong. I'm correcting you. So let me be quiet. Let me speak the scripture. You are wrong. I'm correcting you. Now listen. You better be in the seat. See, you don't want to listen. Go ahead, bring it out. But the comfort of which is the Holy Ghost, the Father was sent in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to the Lord. He stiff what? He stiff neck. Brothers, he what? He stiff neck. Brothers, he what? He stiff neck. He stiff neck. Read. And uncircumcised and heart and ears. He do always resist. He do what? He do always resist. You brothers, he what? He do always resist. He do always resist. Is this what? The Holy Ghost. He do what? The Holy Ghost. Brothers, what? The Holy Ghost. He do always resist the Holy Ghost. Brother, you're resisting the Holy Ghost. Can you explain it You're resisting the Holy Ghost. Can you explain the scripture for me? As your fathers did. As your fathers did. So do ye. So do you. Listen, read. Who have received the law by dispositions of angels. You have received the law, the law by the disposition of angels, meaning messengers, messengers, and what? And have not kept it. And have what? Not kept it. You're not keeping God's laws. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, because the scripture says the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is the law of God. That's the, the word of God. It's the laws of God. Right? Yes, the Holy Spirit okay. is the law of God. That's the word of it God. It says you're resisting The Holy Spirit it. is the word of God. But you're, you're, God. you're resisting it, brother. No, because not. Okay, so why when we're reading it, you're trying to read over us? Why when we're reading it, you're trying to read over us? Okay, we're resisting the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is, right? Now the laws of God is the Holy Ghost. I'm yeah. looking at you and I can see that you resist the Holy Ghost. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. right. I guess you can see through have, Yeah, you have no order. You have okay. no fringes. Okay. okay. You put order on the Sabbath. We're not, we're not, right. we're not, under we're not under the law. Now we're not under the law. 
Brother, you're gone. What you're you gone, brother. You're, you're gone. gone. You're gone. Okay. You jump you're gone, you gone brother. You're gone. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.